hello all you beautiful people out there and welcome to my channel sorry about that youtube wanted to be a fucking pain in the ass like it sometimes does so <laughs> anyway um this is a fairly new youtuber her name is uh snake was right and uh she's doing some good stuff so you know share some love and uh go subscribe to her channel uh at any rate now that we've got everything squared away uh have some of her awesome stuff Call me MC06452-017, okay? <coughs> if you're in doubt, I'll get you straightened out. Check it out, okay? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. All right, here we go. Don't be lacking, cause my savior Jesus knows ya. Baptized, water flowing like Noah. On the high seas, riding low in my ark. Making out like a pirate at my dinosaur adventure park. T-shirts, DVDs, brother, do I have a buyer? If you think you're righteous, I shine brighter. Fat stacks, even though they took me to court. Teaching evolution just don't make me pay for it. Whack an atheist, jaws like an alligator. Closing down, force of God, nothing greater. When Christ meets you, he'll call you a traitor. You're just godless because you're a hater. More than 200 of Batesy than Annihilator. Annihilator, huh? Dang, hardly newer. Move over atheist or you'll get skewered. Badly educated, what you still in school for? I knew everything I know now. Back in 94, what's your credentials? I got me a PhD. I'm so smart, I got it done in a couple weeks. You got a sickness in your soul. Call me your doctor. I'll cure atheists, the witches, and concocters. Percy evil and idolatry like Harry Potter. Evolution is the dumbest and most dangerous. Got the Holy Spirit, you just mad looking sus. Six types of evolution, atheist imagination. Bible says it, so I think it's divine narration. Think these lyrics could have written themselves. That's just as whack as thinking it happened to cells. Never lost an argument, might seem odd. I don't count that thing about mail fraud. Sent to prison, but I was already hard. Thug life, living in chain sinners hard. Got a buddy count, just go check my pawn. You're the weakest demon hell ever spawned. Meteors came and made the dino head spin. What's your excuse, brain dead, cause you wanna sin? See you thinking that your grandpa is a rock. Must be related to whales cause they're a ten foot cock. Come on down, take a tour, join the flock. Evolution falls, but ain't got me shocked. I'm a spiritual gangster cause I got Jesus back. You believe a pine tree gave birth to a rat. My lyrics hit you just like the flames of hell. Just take a seat, boy, just take the L. Wife left me, got another, that's called mad chicks. I'm more hardcore than national pornographic. Toss it in the trash cause treble titties be porn. Brother, I tell ya, this ain't even my final form. Haha, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> yeah. Atheists around the world. Yeah, now you're clutching pearls. Okay. Damn, he got us. That that slippery Kent. That's that is that's my first single. And originally it was a uh, I was in a rap battle with Atheist Junior, and uh, I almost had to create like a uh, an avatar sort of like I'm using right now. Uh huh. So uh, yeah, I, I've just been like researching how to create these kind of avatars. So. And this is oh, my cool. first this is my first live stream debut of one, even though cool. I've used it for videos before. So yeah. So uh yeah, she's uh she does um stuff on creationism, like uh Matt Powell. Um I don't know whether you've done any, any Stephen Anderson. I just finished 
watching the uh, William Lane Craig one not too long ago. But um, but yeah, just uh, go show her some love and subscribe to her channel, would you? So, um, okay. That was Godless Engineer, and I have no idea how he got on, but anyway. <laughs> freebie, uh, freebie, uh, John. So, anyway, um, so, uh, Snake, what got you into doing this? Were you a Christian? Nope. I was never a Christian, but I did go to uh, Catholic high school. Kind okay. of... Uh, I was curious about religion, so I thought uh, if if I went to a Christian school and I read the Bible, then that would be like the best way to, if it was true, then, you know, that would be the best way to kind of study it and dive into it. And that's where I, I was pretty much an agnostic. I was skeptical, but I was, I was open to it. I didn't really know what side I should take, but I, I always, you know, err on the side of caution. I'm not going to accept something without evidence, but reading the Bible made me like a firm atheist. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, I'm Gnostic. I'm a Gnostic atheist when it comes to the God of the Bible, but an agnostic atheist when it comes to, um, like the other gods. Yeah. I don't say like a deistic God can't exist. I'm just like, I don't know. You know, if he, if he or she does, or if they do, I guess that's fine. But they don't really want to interact with us. So it's not really that big of a deal. Yeah, I am. I would consider myself more of like an apestivist where I'm not so much concerned about like what is true. Just more of like, how would we know? Like the process of analyzing information, uh, epistemology. And as far as I can tell, all theist arguments are fallacious or just unsound. Right. And so that's about as much as I think about it and just analyze their arguments. I used to be a, a diehard theist. In fact, the, um, the, the side that Kent Hovind and Matt Powell and all those idiots come from is what I grew up as. So I'm very well aware of their arguments and I know their arguments better than they do. <laughs> and uh, so I can argue with them t from here till the cows come home, but you know, um, they're like you had in your thing in your little rap, you know, they're just going to be like, oh, you were never a Christian to begin with. And that's what their religion teaches them to think. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you really can't blame them for you know, doing what their religion teaches, but still, I mean, it's kind of, you know, 40, 40 years I was a Christian, 40 fucking years, and then I found out it was all a lie, all a lie, you know, and, uh, you know, it just, um, it burns me, which is why I do what I do, and it's nice to have people who've never been a theist doing the exact same thing because uh, then it has a little more weight to it but at least I think so and some people will listen to atheists uh, lifelong atheists before they listen to a former theist and some people will listen excuse me, to a former theist before they listen to a lifelong atheist. So, you know, I think there's 
you know, a, a place for all of us uh, in the atheist community. Yeah, I, uh, I sometimes have a little bit of jealousy of former theists because it's like us people who've never been in a religion ha are like constantly attacked like, well, you were just raised to be an atheist and so that's why you are. And it's like, I don't think, I don't have no way of confirming that that's true, but I don't think so. Cause I wasn't, I was not raised to be atheist and I was not raised to be Christian. Right. And in fact, my parents, when I started to like question religion and be like, this, this is really odd. They were just like, they pretty much were like, stop insulting people's religion and respect their religion. So they, they never really instilled me with religious values, but they, they definitely didn't instill me with anti-religious values. So I feel like it was pretty much as close as to neutral as you can get. Yeah. But a lot of, a lot of the hardcore theists don't even accept neutrality. It's like either you're against God or you're with God. That's what their book says. Yep. But the funny thing is they don't even read their book. And if they do, they just cherry pick it to death. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, like I'm going through my Saturday live stream and it's just like, I can see where they cherry pick things, but going through the, the, um, Right now, I'm in the Old Testament, right? And going through it chapter by chapter, you see how idiotic it is because, you know, God will say one thing in one verse, and then two or three verses later, he'll say the exact opposite. And you're like, that doesn't make any fucking sense, you know? So, yeah. You know, I mean, and in, in, um, I don't know how much you know about Islam, but I got into that, too. And that that was one of the reasons I started the channel. But um, hmm. the, the Quran contradicts itself a lot. And the way they get around this is like, well, it's all true. But the latest thing that's in the Quran, like, is the more true version yeah so whatever yeah. came last is more true but the, but it's all true but um i used to be kind of like a islam apologist where i thought like um i kind of was like countercultural, like oh the the muslims are being persecuted because of 9 11 and stuff and then i went and read the quran and i mean i respect all people as individuals but right the, the religion itself turned out to be, or the, the holy text turned out to be a lot worse than I ever thought. And so yeah. I, Islam was one of like my first videos, actually. Cool. Well, I actually visited a mosque for one of my school projects. And, uh, you know, most Muslims are not the 9-11 Muslims. Of course, yeah. Hang on. Okay, so I'm sorry about that. No problem. Um, so, yeah, I'm just getting into Islam. I don't want to talk about it too much because I don't know too much about it. Um, but, and, you know, I want to give it a fair shake, of course. So it's like, uh, hey, pixie storms. So, you know, uh, I'm not like, I'm not going to say it's wrong because it's got the Abrahamic God in it. I mean, the Abrahamic God is wrong. Uh, all you all you have to do is look at um, what the Bible says the Israelite history is and what archaeology says the Israelite history is. There's a massive difference, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, 
you know, so right now I, I'm focusing uh, on Christianity and I'm mainly focusing on fundamentalist Christianity because that's basically the only thing that I can. Um, um, it's the only one that I'm familiar with. So it's the only one I can rip to shreds. Yeah. And I, yeah. And fun, uh, well, pardon the pun, but fundamentally I pretty much only have a real problem with the fundamentalists because mm -hmm. the, uh, the more progressive religious types, I do have a problem with like faith in general and I'll mm -hmm. always be like, you shouldn't just believe something, but they're really mostly harmless. Yeah. It's the fundamentalists who are the real problem um, because they make everything try and fit their religion rather than the religion try and fit with uh, society, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And we can thank uh, goodness that they don't follow their book. There are some really fundamentalist fundies that are like, we should kill the gays. We should stone the children who disobey parents. Yeah. Yep. That, Ken Hovind. That would, that, by the way, if we stoned the children that disobeyed parents, we would kill the goddamn species. That's just, yeah. They're all about family values, right? Uh, interestingly, they're, they say they're pro-life, but they're not. They're pro-birth. And I've said this before. They're pro-birth. They don't give a fuck what happens after the baby's born. Pretty much. They just want to make sure that baby gets born. And then whatever the fuck happens to the baby is whatever the fuck happens. <laughs> happens to the baby you know i mean they don't really give a shit get born and then conform basically yeah basically you know and uh it it's really bad right now because you've got the quiverful movement which is just all kinds of wrong mm -hmm. and um you know um i may do a a uh, video on quiverful but they're like um have as many babies as you can raise yeah. up an army to the lord and all that shit you know and and you know they're basically i can't say they're overpopulating the planet because i mean let's face it they're very small minority of people the quiverful even not even all fundamentalists are quiverful but um you know uh it's just um it's just ridiculous especially with all the the problems we're having with overpopulation right now so i uh, i mean you know and plus, they beat their children. Yep. I mean, I don't think... Kent Hovind's not Quiverful. I think Quiverful came after Kent Hovind had his kids. He's only got three kids. But yeah. uh, he beat the shit out of Eric. I know that much. He probably beat the shit out of everybody else, too. Yeah, he, he does believe in uh, uh, killing disobedient children. Yep, and killing the gays, and yep. um, killing people who uh, do witchcraft, which <laughs> he probably thinks witchcraft is anything that disagrees with his religion. So, you know, go figure. Yeah. Um, which obviously is not the definition of witchcraft, but what are you going to do, you know? Yeah, and he, he literally, there's a clip of him saying we should kill everyone with a, the, quote, mean gene. So he's literally wants to commit genocide. 
Yeah, and and, that, and then he that calls clip it. Is, that clip is so funny because I'm like, Kent, do you not realize that you just said evolution is a real thing in that you said we should kill everybody with the mean gene and then and then society will get better i, I mean does he not understand that that's i mean not that there is a mean gene first of all let's get that out of the way out of the way you know there is no yeah. such thing as a mean gene but i mean if he's saying you know there is a mean gene and if we get rid of all the people with the mean gene then we'll gradually get a better society does he not realize he just said evolution happens yeah but so, uh but but they're still humans as he would say we shouldn't do it of course we shouldn't and which we're saying the government should do it yeah. <laughs> well who do you think you are you're part of the goddamn government whether you think you're a sovereign citizen or not you goddamn fool by the way he went back to jail yeah for domestic abuse right yeah yeah he body slammed his new wife well yeah that's uh that's what happens i didn't know if he was still in jail or i knew uh, he got arrested yeah he did get arrested i'm not sure whether he's still in jail or not i think he's um i think they let him out on bond but he has to report like to serve 30 days of his year-long sentence which i mean what is that i mean that's not gonna keep him from doing it again you know yep. I mean, that's not a punishment. 30 days in the clinker for domestic violence is not punishment. It's yep. just not. That's as much of a slap on the wrist as it gets. Exactly. Exactly. But, and, I mean, it's it's kind of encouraging that he even got arrested in the first place because a lot of people who are in that situation won't even report it. So I, I don't I don't know what the circumstances of how it got reported, but well, a lot of states I don't know where you are, but a lot of states have a law that says um if a, an abused spouse calls the police or if they've got to go to the hospital and they report the abuse to the hospital staff, then the hospital staff has to report it to the police and then it is the state it's not the victim that presses charges it's the state which mm -hmm. i think is is a pretty good idea uh considering these people usually won't press charges because they know if they do then they're gonna get it double when they get when they're spouse gets home you know so yeah i mean take it out of their hands let the state deal with it yeah and there's um i mean that's the least we can do like i have uh, family members who are going through abusive things and yeah you can't really do anything about it unless they like one get sent to the hospital or they decide to do something themselves right right um and you know i think a lot of i don't think all states have it but i know florida does and uh i think that's where they live i'm i'm not sure whether they live in florida or or alabama now but both of those states have that law where it's not up to the spouse to press charges um and i and i think that's actually a good law to have um so you know um it's just um 
he's a piece of shit human being. Yep. Yeah, there's that's putting it lightly. But and uh, if, if the way he treats people in debates is any indication of his personal relationships, I mean, I'm sure they're much worse, actually. He's a very narcissistic guy. Oh, yeah. Totally narcissistic. Now, most of the apologists, I will say, are dishonest in the extreme. Eric Hovind... I'm not so sure. I'm willing to get Eric Hovind to pass, but that's only because he uh, can't beat the little literal shit out of, out of that kid. And just being afraid of the fucking dentist. Like, what kid isn't afraid of the fucking dentist? You know? Yeah. And if, if Kent's going to beat the kid... For being afraid of the dentist. You know. He, he's not going to cross daddy on much. Especially when it comes to religious beliefs. You know. Yeah. And you know. So I'm willing to give him a pass. I, I'm not even sure about Matt, about Matt Powell. I'm not sure whether he's. Just fucking brainwashed. He is only 22. He might get his act together. That's hoping a lot, but, you know, but Steve Anderson, Ray Comfort, Ken Ham, they're all liars. They're all a bunch of fucking liars, and they know it. Yeah, I, some of the stuff they say is like, you have to know what you're doing. Right, right. I mean, like, um, they pretty much admit that evolution happens. They just don't call it evolution. They're like... Um, Microevolution. Oh, yeah, microevolution. Variations within kinds. What's a kind, you idiot? You know? Mm -hmm. But um, they say variations happen, right? Um, and they also... Which is, you know, um, mutations... I mean, calling it a variation doesn't change what it is, which is a mutation, right? And then they admit natural selection happens. They just don't call it natural selection. And so they admit evolution happens. They just don't want to admit that they admit that evolution happens, you know? And yeah, they've they got they draw this arbitrary line. It's like, where? so where is the line, actually, where evolution stops? And they can never explain it. And every time they'll, they'll say, like, well, if you can show that this can happen and this can happen, it's like, well, well, I can show different bones, different organs, like different arrangements of bones, et cetera, et cetera. And you can show each individual little step happens, but then they just... They won't accept that it can all add up. Right. And, you know, um, they probably do that because I don't really have a problem with the old earth creationists because eventually, hopefully, the old earth creationists are going to say, hmm, you know, evolution's not that out of the park you know if we well, believe in an old earth you know and a, a lot of old earth creationists at least self-described are do subscribe to evolution as well they just believe yeah. god had a hand in it right or just kick-started it right right and um you know which is fine you know but in order to to hold to to the young earth one thing that I find funny is that to hold to the young earth model, they have to believe no way around it. No fucking way around it. They have to believe in hyper evolution on steroids. Mm -hmm. Not once, but twice. 
like a new species per kind every year would be the, <laughs> what yeah. we should expect to see. Or, and, and you have to believe that like almost all the natural sciences are all false the way they're understood. Yeah. Radiochemistry, uh, geology, biology, um, even astronomy. Exactly. Uh, Nevermore. And one of the things I always like to mess them up on is Okay, well, if God designed us, he's the shit designer because he put the birth canal next to the poop chute. <laughs> yeah, and that's not one you can really explain away with uh, genetic entropy, like we're mutating to death. <laughs> right. Like, what is genetic entropy anyway? I mean, that's not even a thing, you know? Yeah. Um. They say entropy is like deterioration or something like that, if I understand them correctly. But that's not what entropy is. You know, nope. entropy is a, a decline in the energy available to do work. That's all entropy is. You know, I mean, they can't even get basic definitions right. You know, well, it's, it's just like the, the, the tendency towards even distribution of energy to do work so that 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 the differences become less over time in the system but they don't get that a system can have energy put into it right like the <laughs> earth you know and like okay. i would say you know all the natural sciences they say are false but physics they just flat out just don't understand well, they don't really understand any natural sciences. Yeah. You know, I mean... But they, they, they actively say that all of them are false. They don't... But they don't even say that about the physics. They just get it. They just straw man it to death. Right. Which they say is physics I, is real, but they just agree to a fake physics. Which is why I loved it when Kent Hovind had that debate with King Crocoduck and the king just wiped the floor with Kent. Mm -hmm. Did you see the one where you debated Destiny and they started talking about the moon? No, I didn't. Destiny is real good at real time, like looking up the source and like reading it and mm -hmm. like exposing the quote mines and stuff. Because Kent was like talking about how the moon model was wrong and stuff like that. And in the paper he was citing, Destiny like looked it up and in like a couple of minutes said like, yeah, in this paper, they prove that the new model works and they overturn the old model. And like Kent's just lying about the whole thing. That's all he can do. Yeah. I mean, let's face it. That's all they can do. And, and the followers won't look up the sources to check oh, him. They just oh no. trust him because he says it confidently. Oh, Yeah. I mean, that's what a con man does. You can't yeah. be a con man if you're not narcissistic, first of all. Nor can you be a con man if you don't say things with confidence and with authority. That's just the way it, it goes, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, but and another thing I find hilarious is they say, Kent, I don't know about um, any of the other YECs, but Kent at least says that we believe we came from rocks. Well, uh, Kent, um, what do you think dust is? Yeah. That's what and, he believes, literally. It's all projection. Yeah, I mean, especially... You hypocrite! <laughs> I mean, especially if he, um, especially if he's trying to say that nothing died before Adam and Eve ate the fruit, right? Nothing died. Mm -hmm. So the dust literally has to be nothing but rocks. It can't be like skin dander or, you mm -hmm. know, um, corpses or anything like that. It has to be literal rock 
Yeah. But Just he cauterized. Did. Right, right. Yeah. And another thing that's funny is Eve is apparently a transgender woman because she's genetically male because she's Adam's <laughs> rib. Right, right. So I guess transgenderism is fine, according yeah. to the Bible, but according to them, no, 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 no. Well, it's, it's okay as long as God does it. Oh, that's their... Just like all the murder and, and... Yeah, yeah. Baby killing, yeah. that's that's cool as long as God does it, too. Yeah. The, the genocide flood and, you know, the, the other genocides in the Bible... Yeah, we're cool with that because God, you know, God either let it happen or God, you know, commanded it. It's it's fine, you know. And you know the uh, the passage about the, um, the cursed water the pregnant woman will drink. That's pro, but that's pro abortion. Yeah. If I, ever I heard a pro abortion verse, but yeah. I mean, what about? And it's God doing it too. Right. But I mean, what about that um, verse in the Bible that says, you know, if you're, um, if two men are fighting and the wife gets in the way, the wife of one and the men gets in the way and the men are scuffling and, you know, she miscarries as a result, then um the the per the person who did it only has to pay a fine to the husband when the punishment for murder according to the bible is death how do they reconcile that yeah so i mean it just doesn't make any sense well, back then, they believed that life was breath. So life at conception was not even a an idea right. during, in biblical times because they, they thought air was literally the spirit. Right. So. <laughs> it's just like, it's so crazy. I mean, I look at what I used to believe and I'm like, how the hell did I ever believe it? But, I mean, I grew up in it, so I didn't think it was crazy. You know, it was only until I got a brain and started using it that I was like, this shit is just crazy. Yeah, that's, uh, that's your brain on young earth creationism. <laughs> yeah, but brain dead and they say we're fucking brain dead because you know well first of all they say atheism is a religion get that out of your fucking head no it's not I, yeah as if as if they think religions are bad exactly and and that's the thing i'm like don't you realize that you're saying religion is bad but you have a religion so by default, you're saying your religion is bad. They just know it triggers. Sense. They just know it triggers atheists because they hate religions. <laughs> well, but I they, mean, so they think that you know, there's there's a bunch of different faiths, but their faith has evidence. So it's like, well, why are you using the word faith then? That exactly, kind of defeats the purpose. And they're like, uh, well, the Bible is right because it says it's right. It's the word of God because it says it's the word of God. And you're like, don't you realize that that's circular reasoning? And not only that, but the Quran says it's the word of God. So if you're going to take the Bible because the Bible says it's the word of God, then you also have to take the Quran because the Quran says it's the word of God. Yeah, they're the same evidence exists for every religion. It's just <laughs> they just have a double standard. Yeah, they do. They do. You know, they're like, well, 
you have to have evidence to prove evolution and you know and we're like uh we do have evidence you have to prove that creationism is true well we have evidence we have the bible look your book is not evidence evidence is stuff you can see smell hear touch taste you know probably shouldn't taste anything like that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably a bad idea you can try some people eat the bible like the pages of the bible yeah um, i mean uh, but that's one of the things about pseudoscience is like an unrealistically uh just a um, large standard of proof for science, um, impossibly high standard. And then for, but for their religion, it's an extremely low standard of evidence where all it takes is just a book says it, and that's good enough evidence for them, but tons of scientific evidence to the contrary is not good enough. Yeah. And then, and then they're going to say, well, the Bible's the oldest book. Um, ha have you not heard of the Bhag Bhagavad Gita? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, hello, no, it's not. A and we know Israel didn't exist for as long as the Bible said it did. So, you know, but they don't. They don't accept archaeology. They don't accept uh, genetics. They say they accept genetics, but they don't. You know, I mean, biology, geology, chemistry, you know, I mean, uh, they don't accept any of this, you know. And and it, it really is sad because they're like, uh, you know, um, and it it's a it's getting smaller um which is a good thing but it is bouncing back in america which is a not so good thing <laughs> but um i mean religions go through this thing where um they get smaller and then they get larger and it's just gonna take time uh to, to weed all this stuff out. But the thing that they don't understand is Judaism is not real. It's just not. And um, the other thing is Christianity is a totally made up religion because nowhere in Tanakh or Torah does it say the Messiah is going to uh, die and rise again for our sins? It doesn't say that. It says Messiah is going to be a military figure. Yeah. Um, you know, and everybody's going to know the truth of God when Messiah comes. That didn't happen when Jesus came, you know. So, I mean, um, and um, I don't know whether you've watched any of my stuff or not, but um, uh, one of the um, one of the New Testament authors mistranslated um, the word "virgin." Um, it can mean virgin, and in, in Hebrew. It means young woman. That's the only thing it can mean in Hebrew is young woman. But when it goes to the Greek, the Greek has one word for a virgin, someone who's never had sex, and young woman. They have the same word. So they are correct that in the Greek it can be translated either virgin or young woman but not in hebrew and um dr josh of digital hammurabi has um 
a good um, show on that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, word, verbal trickery going on there. Uh, yeah, I mean, there is. So, you know, if, glad, glad I, I feel like if, if it was real, God would provide a perfect copy in every language and like keep it updated. Yeah, I mean, you know, um, why, why do, why do we have different um, versions in just the English alone? You know, New International Version, uh, New American Standard Bible, um, the Catholic versions. I mean, there, there's like, I don't know, about fifty different versions in English alone. You know, the the King James, the New King James, the New Revised Standard. I mean, come on, you know. I mean, um, and some of them directly conflict with others. You know, it's just like, when are you gonna wake up and smell the coffee? You know, but a lot of these people won't. Um. And um, what what makes it uh, really um, what gets me is they m most of them, a few of them do. The people who've gone to seminary do know Hebrew and do know Greek. But the majority of the Christians don't read Hebrew, so they don't get the nuances. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, things don't translate all that well into another language. Hi, Mark. And, um, you know, so you might have translation errors. Why would that be? If it's God's holy word, why would we have translation errors? It, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Well, a similar thing kind of happens with the Quran as well, where you, you'll be quoting something to a, a Muslim and they'll say, well, you can't really understand it because you don't speak Arabic. And so what they're saying is essentially I'm basically cursed because I wasn't born uh, to Arab speaking, Arabic speaking parents, or they're saying that, and, or they're saying that uh, Arabic can't be translated into English. So it's just absurd either way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I will say most Muslims are on the same page because most Muslims, even those who've converted, do learn Arabic. So they're pretty much on the same page when it yeah. comes to that. Unlike Christians who have, God knows how many Bibles, you know, there's 50, at least 50 different versions in English. Who knows how many versions in different languages, you know? Yeah, but everyone can't just like start learning it all these ancient languages just in case some random religion might happen to be correct. Right. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, if God is, if the God of the Bible is real, and like I said, I'm a Gnostic atheist when it comes to the God of the Bible, I do not believe that Abrahamic God is real. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if, Let's just say for sake of argument that he's real. He's supposed to be all powerful, right? So why doesn't he just make himself known to everybody instead of saying, hey, you know, I'm going to make myself known to these people and these people are going to write shit down and then blah, 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 blah. And we're going to play the telephone game. Yeah. And it would be pretty easy. 
it, their their excuse is usually like, well, then it wouldn't be faith, or then we wouldn't have free will. But it's like you still would need to have faith that the God was like had your best interests in mind, and you would still have free will. Like if you know math, or I, I don't know, it just if you know any fact that doesn't affect your free will, it just you just have more evidence. <laughs> In yeah. fact, your your free will is better off w with informed consent rather than just guessing in the dark. Well, Kent Hovind is ignorant, and he, he even says that he is proud he is ignorant, and he is not going to learn anything, blah, 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 blah. I'm sure you've heard him say all this shit before. Yeah. Um, You know, but... The, the problem is they don't want to learn anything because they know if they learn anything, uh, it's going to undermine their faith. So Yeah, because uh, it's so stringent that it's, like, fragile. Like, it, it can't bend at all. So if right. any, like, fundamentalists, if any part of it is untrue, then it all falls apart. So it's actually like an atheist maker, whereas like the the more progressive forms of religion, they're way more flexible. And so they can still believe in God while believing in all the sciences at the same time. Yeah, I um reading the Bible is what made me an atheist. It's not the only thing that made me an atheist. I started going down the road long before I decided I was going to read the Bible cover to cover, um, which is something that if the Christians know what's good for them, they will tell their people not to read the Bible because that is the worst thing you can do. That makes more atheists than anything else. Yeah. You There's know. like a... There's like an old Catholic saying, I think, that's like, if you want to stay Catholic, don't read your Bible. Yeah. I mean, it, it really is sad. And um, it just, uh, it's sad because not only don't they want to learn, but they will never learn because, uh, come on, if they ever do learn, uh, you know, there goes their fundamentalism at the very least. At the very least, they can't believe in fundamentalism anymore. Yeah, you know? and that's that's like the problem with thinking that you have the absolute truth mm -hmm. is then you're like, well, there's nothing left to learn. Right. And the, the thing is, you know, um, I know the fundamentalists say, well, you know, we're the only true Christians. The Catholics aren't Christians. But do you know who came up with the Big Bang Theory? A Catholic priest. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just like, what the fuck, man? You know, I mean, it, it's just obvious. You see the universe and everything's, you know, going further away from us it only stands to reason that at one time everything was closer together that's just common sense um of course common sense really doesn't have any place in the sciences i'm not saying that but if you want to use common sense that's where common sense should come in you know yeah. i mean <laughs> um yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with uh, coming up with common sense hypotheses. Right. As long as, as long as you can test them. Right, right. <coughs> yeah, Mark. George Lamott was a Catholic monk. And he's the one that came up with the Big Bang Theory. Yeah. So, anyway, I just thought that was funny. And, I mean, even the Catholics... You know, they're like, yeah, okay, we 
we we accept evolution you know yeah um well it's funny a lot of the um fundamentalists and protestants are like catholics are not real christians and then they'll turn around and use like catholic artifacts as proof of of christianity or they'll be like christianity is was um the driving force behind science all along but it's like most of those were catholic priests who were mm -hmm. like scientists well, look at the shadow turn i know fundamentalists that used the shadow turn up and down all the oh, damn yeah. time and i'm like you do know that that's a catholic relic right yeah like when you're fighting with otangelo over that it's just <laughs> so <laughs> you saw that one huh yeah it's it's the easiest one to debunk too like i mean i did it from the bible i don't know whether you've seen that live stream or not but yeah i debunked the shot of turn from the bible you know and i mean even if you're not gonna take carbon dating or anything like that um you know debunking it from the bible and you're not gonna take the what you think is the word of god or what you profess is the word of god over your opinion you're not even going to do that what kind of a christian are you if you're yeah. not going to believe the word of god over your own opinion it doesn't make any sense yeah i mean they just they really need to convince themselves i think yeah they do um but i mean more than that they just have to be open to um learning you know they have to say okay well we don't have all the answers and so you know um like with this um uh thing we're going through right now i'm not gonna say it because i'll get demonetized but i think you know what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah that, that thing yeah that thing but i mean you know i mean um how do they think we we got a a, a vaccine for it uh, they mm. expect that probably they, praying to satan <laughs> they accept some science when it suits them but not other science and you're like it's all the same thing people you know yeah there is i mean we don't always get it correct but that that doesn't mean that it's always incorrect and they they use that it's like the fact that science can be corrected they act like that's a weakness when really that's the strength of science because we don't just say we all oh, we figured it out we got the absolute truth and just call it a day right because when you do that then you're bound you're definitely gonna make mistakes right and another thing i think is funny is the fundamentalists at least they think the bible is the literal word of god and i always ask them show me the verse that says the earth is 6,000 years old. They can't. Yeah. They're like, well, um, see, there's like 4,400 years um, before Jesus Christ. And then there's 2,000. I'm like, no, 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 no. No, that ain't going to wash with me. Uh-uh, don't do that. You know, take me yeah, to and the it verse. Was it's based on like who who begat who and mm -hmm. so on and so forth but i saw so, i forget the details but i saw something recently that was like even that count the original count was way off and the modern creationists just keep running with the it's like a the original count is like 100 years old at this point and it's been deproved uh, disproved like over and mm -hmm. over but they they still run with the older the yeah. oldest one well yeah but even the ages you know the ages are not literal ages you know you can go to 
like the Assyrian king lists and go to like the first king of Assyria, you know, the one that conquered everybody and got Assyria together. And it'll mm -hmm. say this king reigned 10,000 years. He didn't live 10,000 years. He reigned at 10,000 years, you know, so he yeah. lived beyond 10,000 years. You know, are you going to take that as literal? Well, of course they're not, but they're going to take the Bible as literal. It, But it's the same mechanism. That's just how they did things back then, you know? Yeah, I mean, if, if any other holy book said these people lived for 200 years or whatever, 900 years, they would not believe it. But if their holy book said it, then it truth mm -hmm. and um, I think that's one of the reasons I get so hot and bothered you know um, people who've been atheists their whole lives tend to be better at keeping their cool when um, making uh, response videos and I don't make response videos, and the, the reason I don't make response videos is I just, I would either blow my top, or I would be laughing my fucking ass off. <laughs> and, I, you know, I just cannot stay serious with as much stupidity as they throw out. Yeah, and it's, it's got to be more personal for, like, former theists. Yeah, yeah, and I and I think that's why, you know, um, there are former theists that do response videos, like um, Suris, he's a former theist, but um, a lot of former theists will not do uh, response videos because it is, it does touch a nerve. For yeah. us, you know, I like Polygia a lot. He's yeah. probably my favorite one. Yeah, I I like Polygia too. He he's a good dude. Um, he and he's always so cool headed. Yeah, but I also like the fire and brimstone of Aaron Rava. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, but Polygia grew up Mennonite, and that's not the stuff he's debunking. I mean, Mennonites are fundamentalists yes but he's not debunking Mennonites he's debunking generally answers in Genesis sometimes mm -hmm. creation today which is Eric Hovind but um yeah in general he does answers in Genesis which is Ken Ham and you know I'm like you know what I can't wait until that fucking art part sinks, you know? <laughs> um, and yeah. Well, it um, already flooded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm using that as a joke. Sinks as a joke, you know? Yeah. Because um, when it does, you know, you can open up the fucking thing for the homeless. You know, somebody <laughs> else somebody else had the idea of making it um, um, a Sodom and Gomorrah uh, casino or something like that, but I uh, nah, just just open it up for the homeless, you know. Yeah, yeah, and and that's another thing they don't follow what their religion teaches. They're like, you know, well, Jesus said we should do this and that and the other. Well, you're not taking care of the poor. I, I look at um, what's his what's his face, uh, Copeland. He's got two private jets. What the fuck does he need with two private jets? Yeah. Jesus would never do that. Exactly. Exactly. You know? So, anyway. Well, it's over an hour. I want to thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks um, for having me. Do you have anything else you want to add? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think... Um, I think what pisses me off probably the most is when uh -huh. they um, 
when they say like, oh, you believe in God, you're just lying to yourself because you want to sin or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, that's, that's, the, well, it, it makes me most angry because it's like, well, you just proved your whole religion wrong to me because I know I don't believe. And if your religion requires that I know and I know I don't know, then that proves it wrong. Yeah. And that, how cute. they can't see that is just, yeah. But it's also like, why are they even fighting us? Because like, the, they'll be like, you can't simultaneously because... think that we are like creating atheists and believe that everyone believes in God at the same time. Right, right. Well, because like, why? It's, they... it's the uh, it's it's basically the only way their religion can survive. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, Logic pointed this out. I don't know whether you watch Logic or not, but he's yeah. a great atheist YouTuber, and um, he pointed out that John Pendleton. Um, spent like almost an entire episode bringing up all these problems with evolution which are not problems by the way they're just problems because he just fucking doesn't understand what mm -hmm. evolution is you know um, but the only thing he has for creationism is my fucking book says it's true what? You gotta yeah. have more than that, dude. Yeah, and I think, um, you know, the this kind of stuff is fun to talk about, and it's kind of like, I don't know, we're just we're just amateurs on the internet talking shit, but uh, I think it's really important to kind of combat the the fundamentalists and the creationists online mm -hmm. because. A regular person isn't going to know all the time right. when they're lying or why they're lying. And they, they mm -hmm. get more sophisticated arguments all the time. And they start sounding more professional and more professional. So you need you need people to start speaking up. And the, the real scientists that are like big time doing real research, most of them, the creationists are not even on their radar. Well, I mean, it's because it's not really worth their time. Yeah. I mean, they're t they're doing research, you know. Yeah. And they don't they don't have time to try to correct these idiots, you know. Yeah. Um, but someone's got to someone's got to present the uh Somebody's got to do it. Right. Somebody's got to do it and that's what we're here for, you know. Yeah. Um we're saving souls. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah um saving them from not having to worship a god that doesn't exist first of all and second of all um saving them from a a really really nasty religion you know most yeah, of them they are they are kind of selling their souls to the religion. Yeah. And letting it letting it take over their mind. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I don't really have a problem with the progressive Christians. Yeah. Even the moderate Christians. And, um, you know, I just, um, I, I do have a problem with creationism particularly young earth creationism. Um, and it's so funny that they want to use, they want to couch their pseudoscience in scientific terms, yet mm -hmm. they shit on science, right? Well, why are they using scientific terms if they want to shit on science? Yeah. You know, I mean, because if they know it has legitimacy, mm -hmm. So right. they want to simultaneously use that legitimacy <laughs> while delegitimizing it. Yeah. And if you're a Christian and you're listening, you're still listening, because I just sit on all over your your uh, fucking arguments, you know. But if you're still listening, I have more 
respect. I have more respect for a young earth creationist that says, you know what? I believe young earth creationism because the Bible says the earth is young. Now, that's a non sequitur because the Bible never says the earth is young. But, I mean, you know, I mean, if you want to go that way, uh, I have more respect for a young earth creationist who say, you know what, I just have faith. Rather than the one who wants to try to, to flip the script on science. Yeah. You know, so, and, and I don't think I'm the only atheist, by the way, Christians. I don't think I'm the only atheist who thinks that way. So, you know, yeah. I mean, you might want to, you might want to think about that. Yeah, um, well, I, I will always have the argument of, like, you shouldn't just have faith. It's much less of a concern to me than spreading actual disinformation. Yeah, and, and that's another thing. If they want their, if they want to have faith, let them have faith. I don't fucking care. Just don't spread in disinformation, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, that that's why we're having such a problem with you know what right now because there's so much disinformation you know and mm -hmm. and these people have been programmed to be anti-science so you can't really blame them yeah i think that's one part of it i do think there is kind of a problem with um shutting down conversation around it so that essentially then the radicals just spread unchecked because mm -hmm. no one's no one's actually having a real conversation they're just saying just just follow the guidelines but um but there is a, a lot of disinformation that comes about from that right and another thing i have a, a big problem with is them trying to convert people i don't have a problem with the jews you know why because the jews don't want to fucking convert people yeah they're not they're not pre to people snake yeah you glitched out there for a second are we back okay sorry yeah sorry uh anyway i i've i've kept you long enough but why don't you go ahead and plug your channel yeah it's uh snake was right and uh, I'm a couple subscribers away from 500. So, uh, yeah. Go subscribe, like, comment. If you like my stuff, it would be a very helpful. Yep. And, she does and some thanks, really good thanks stuff for having me on. Oh, and sure, I have to say, no problem. The, uh, the first time I saw you pop in, it was like Gers, Gers streams or something like that. I mm -hmm. thought you're... Uh, I thought your screen name was Lies for Truth at first. <laughs> so, yeah, I thought that might have been like a uh, Standing for Truth reference, but oh yeah. no, <laughs> no, not not even. Um, but that is that but, would be a perfect yeah. name for him, Lies for Truth. Right, or or they do, lying they for do Jesus. that. They'll lie yeah, for they'll, Jesus. They 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 literally think it's okay to tell a little white lies as long as people come to Jesus. Right, right. So anyway, I'm going to let everyone go. Thank you so much for coming. Why don't you hit the like button? Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And um, go ahead and um, comment if you want to comment. Go sub to Snake Was Right. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.